this problem, Kristen, uh, what we're going to want to do is, ladies and gentlemen, remember what we were talking about. Let's go back, I think, uh, Sadiq, my favorite example, which I've probably outdone. 2 to the x equals 2 to the third power. If I say 2 to the x is equal to 2 to the third power, we know that x now has to equal 3, three right? Because the base doesn't really matter. If you raise 2 to a power that you don't know, and that's equal to 2 to a power of 3, you know that the powers have to be the same, right? Okay, now, do we, is exp exponents related to logarithms in any shape or form? Yeah, remember when we did, uh, so if I say log base 2 of x equals log base 2 of 3, the exact same thing is going to occur. Because remember when we remember when we changed from logarithmic to exponential form, Juliana? When we changed from logarithmic to exponential form, remember the base was always the same, right? You guys remember that? The base remains the same when you transfer from logarithmic to exponential or from exponential to logarithmic. The base is always the same. So in this problem, I know this, these are different how I wrote them, but all I want you guys to understand is if I have the log base 2 of x equals log base 2 of 3, we do, the base and the logarithm aren't going to matter. We know whatever we're evaluating them for have to equal one another. So in this case, since I have log base 4 equals log base 4, I now know that x squared minus 4 has to equal negative x plus 2. So now it comes to an algebra problem where I have to solve this. So we know this is a quadratic with the x squared. So now I have to set it equal to 0 and see which ways I can factor. So I factor it equal to 0. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to add and subtract an x and a 2 on both sides. So therefore I get x squared plus x minus 6 equals 0. Now there's a couple ways we learned how to solve a quadratic. We could factor, complete the square, quadratic formula. We could graph it and find the intercepts. All right. So for this one, I always like to go and see, though, can I factor this, right? And you guys can remember you do the old one, negative 6 and 1. What two numbers multiply to give you negative 6? I had to give you 1. 3 and negative. So x plus 3 times x minus 2 equals 0. And the reason why we like to factor it is because now once it's factored, now I can apply the zero product property which states x plus 3 equals 0, or x minus 2 equals 0. So therefore, our solutions is x equals negative 3, and x equals dose. Cool? Cool. All right. Okay, last question.